Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. We'll start this series called Letter Soup. In this series I will show you how I draw many styles of letters by drawing the whole ABC, each letter in a different style. This episode will be the letter A and we're gonna do this kind of gothic style. Very simple letter structure. And I will start by sketching a simple guide. This style is based on arc strokes. So I'm gonna draw a very basic A. This will be the basic structure and we're gonna try to place this in the middle of the guide we drew before. So now thinking that the letter A has four strokes to be created, I'm gonna show you here on the side how I see every individual stroke. This will depend where your stroke starts, but normally starts big and ends smaller. So your stroke should have one big end and another small end. If we come back here to our guide and we divide it by top and bottom, I will make the structure of the letter thicker on the top half and thinner on the bottom half. Just to make sure my explanation was accurate, if you're doing your stroke this way, you can see here how you should have a bigger end and a smaller end. So now let's go to the guide and start drawing the letter on the top. Again, focusing on arc shapes and trying to keep just three angles, 90 degrees, zero degrees and 45 degrees. So I'll start giving volume to the letter and I start by scratching it and focusing on the stroke explanation I gave before. So basically, if you're doing the stroke this way, I'm going to do these consecutive lines starting big to small and then I'll grab the outer lines of this volume I created. So back to it, I'll keep adding the volume. To add some extra details on the letter, I'm going to do some horn or spikes. And I like to put them here, like in the middle of the stroke or actually like in the beginning, depending on how it looks. And I also like to add some cracks. I will do here on the side. So you have this horn and you have this V shape that looks like a crack. You can do this normally where strokes meet. You can experiment with this and see where it looks aesthetically better. Also with the horns. So now with the sharpie I start blocking the letter. I tend to outline everything first and then paint it. Because you never know what kind of ideas you might come up with. And maybe sometimes it looks better with the fading side or something else, you know. And I have this Micron 0.5 technical pencil, which I'm gonna use to make what I normally call an outer line. I leave a space between the letter and I make another line. It's nice to do it always with a more opaque color than the one you're using for the letter so you don't stand out this line that much. And try not to make this line either too close or too far from the letter, it need to look good. Now that we got this down, I think it would be nice to have a shadow behind this. So I'm going around this outer line to make some shadows on some corners and block the insides. It's pretty rough, but I will go later with a blending stump to make it smoother. I have this Micron 08. It's a nice pen to sharp up the edges of your drawing. Once you got this letter structured down and you sketch it a couple times, you can try sketching on other letters. Applying all these tips, you would be able to draw a whole ABC on this stuff. To smooth these shadows, I'm going to use this blending stump pretty easy to use. We'll just go over the shadows we did before. I'll just go back to this outer line and all the parts that are facing down, I will make them a little darker and thicker, just so it has a, a small 3D effect. 
it's actually a really small detail that makes a big difference in the overall look of the letter. It's always cool to add some dots around it. A cool tip here is focus on doing some dots on some corners and making sure some dots appear to be in the back of the letter, maybe some in the front of the letter. From here on it's up to you to grab these tips and create your own style, add your own flavor to it. Also the more you draw and repeat doing these details, it will become more natural to create a whole ABC with this style. And this will be it for this video, I hope you got something helpful out of it. And I'll see you in the next week with the next letter.